Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, let me share my screen. And here it is. You should be able to see my uh, pitch per runner uh, window. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, it's been an awesome year, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we have a lot to show you in the next year. So thank you for your patience. Okay, so for this tutorial, I am going to show you how to build a map like this uh, that will show you current website visitors location on a map. So to see how it works, I will paste the URL to a uh, chat window and please go ahead and open it in your web browser and we will see how it will appear on the map. Okay, there is someone there at you, it's Croatia, India, nice, nice. Who else? Okay, uh, Chicago, I guess, right? and san francisco very nice okay okay so that's the idea right and uh how it works uh if uh, you visited any of the pages in the application in the last 10 minutes your marker will show on the map and if you didn't do anything for a minute it should switch from uh, uh, to a smaller dot that is not blinking. Let me show how it's been done and how it can be useful in some other ways. What we do here, uh, after application initialized, we define a couple of uh, PHP functions here. One of them saves uh, current user data. Uh, if it's uh, user was already, in our if IP address of the user was already in our database and we determined it by selecting the users by IP address uh, then we just update the last activity daytime field with uh, current uh, date and time and if uh, this is the first time the API in our database then we insert a new record there uh, same idea, just either update the uh, last activity time and uh, or just insert a new record. So when we inserted uh, the record for the first time, what else we do? Uh, we convert the IP address to a decimal uh, representation of it. So we can, uh, this is because uh, how IP addresses uh, uh, ranges defined in our database. You cannot run a search for something that is a number with four dots. You need to convert it like to a, like just a number. And this is the very simple functions. I'm pretty sure there is a built-in functions in some databases or in probably in PHP as well. But uh, for the learning purpose of this, we just uh, uh, wrote our own functions. So what we do here, we use explode PHP's function that uh, uses that as a separator and uh, gets uh, an array of four numbers out of uh, IP address. And then, uh, so if we have an IP address like 173, 73, 17, 17, we split it into four numbers. The first one we multiply by 256, uh, three times, I guess, second one, two times, the third one, oh, just one time, and at the last one. So we receive a unique uh, decimal number uh, that represents an IP address. So it's a pretty large number, as you can imagine. And then we run a search in our database uh, to see where this IP address range, uh, what uh, geographical, uh, latitude and longitude it represents. So if you take a look in the uh, IP to location table, 
using the link I sent you. So this is how we do. We execute SQL query and based on uh, where our IP address, uh, which range it belongs to, we figure out its latitude and longitude. That's pretty simple and it's not very precise, but it's precise enough. Also, we get uh, things like country, region, uh, like a US state and a city. Uh, so when we insert the user for the first time, we convert uh, his IP address to its uh, decimal representation. And by the way, we already uploaded both projects for PHP Runner on spriner.net. Both projects are available in members area. You can download them already as well as the database. So that's something that you can play with. So we uh, run the search simply using between IP address range start, IP address range end. Very simple, just a single uh, SQL query to figure out uh, geographic coordinates. And once we figured it out, uh, this is the part that inserts current user data or updates it uh, with the last activity. And uh, this is uh, the function that actually does the work when we make uh, access any page and our map will ping uh, every few uh, will ping uh, one of uh, PHP runner pages or sprint.net pages every few seconds uh, I believe it's every three seconds it's we can easily see it if we do the following uh, let's go to the menu page and and if we do F12 and see what is on our network tab. You can see there is a post made to menu PHP page. We just sent uh, get active users through. So we know this is our specific request. And in the response, we just uh, receive a JSON with the list of active users with their IDs and uh, uh, coordinates related to longitude. Okay, that's how it works. So what happens next uh, in our uh, custom functions JS, we define all functions that work with uh, OpenStreetMap. On initial load of the page, we just create a map and send some settings. We uh, figure out the size of the map based on how much space is available on the screen in that snippet. And then uh, every five seconds, yeah, we send the request every five seconds. So we execute update markers uh, function once, and then we do it every five seconds. And in our functions, we perform the post to the page where we came from. You see, when we post the uh, first parameter is empty, it makes the request to the current page, which is our menu page. And once we receive a response, we parse it and we get a list of uh, latitude, longitude coordinates, and we display them on the screen. We also see if uh, uh, this marker is active in Active here means uh, active, uh, last activity time was uh, one minute or less. And if it's active, then we do uh, we assign CSS class active. So let me show you how we actually insert it into the page. That's a menu page. Uh, menu page, uh, we go to the page designer. And... Uh, uh, common pages menu and there is a map called snippet and called snippet is extremely simple we just output an empty uh, div here with no style no nothing but what is important to us is that it has id named map and this is how we connect our javascript code to this specific location so let me show you uh events again custom functions gs and 
that's what we do. This is how we uh, connect to our div. This is where we we specify uh, height and the width of the map based on how much space is available. And we create a new open street map object using map as an ID. It uh, takes the first argument as an ID. So that's, this is how you connect it. So if you change the ID in your code snippet, you will also need to change it here and here and here. So it probably makes sense to keep it the same. Otherwise, you need to change uh, what's uh, for occurrences of this map ID here.